Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial in ArcMap ArcView 10.0 and this occasion I'm going to show you or show you the clicks to create a new shape file. Alright, let's get started. First of all you need to have uh, your ArcMap session up and running and this is a very clean interface right now and all you gotta do is go up here into the uh, toolbars and click on the catalog window icon so that will start that portion of it if you already have a folder connection go to it in my case I do but you can put, uh, create a new one every time in my uh, situation it's in the C drive TMP ArcMap Toots Mini Toot 5 and I'm gonna create my shape file here so come down here to uh, the folder directories right click on the folder and go once you get the list scroll down to new shape file now in my case I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna digitize uh, the footprint of uh, buildings so footprints and I want it to be a polygon feature type I would like to define the uh, coordinate system so I will go into click on edit select and because I know the coordinate system I want to use I will go directly to it you can also use the import and what it does you import the uh, coordinate system from an existing uh, shape file that you may have in your uh, your uh, folders directory or SDE or whatever uh, I will click and project it state plane NAT 1983 US feet double click I know it's in Arizona and I will expand this so I get the right one Arizona West FIPS 0203 US feet add go OK and click OK and immediately it's gonna be shown here and also it's gonna be added to your project so we're done we're gonna close this and we are going to use an image to use as a reference and sketch on so let's open uh, click over oh, what I did let me show you again I click over here on this little thing and it will in the middle is add base map so I will click on Bing Maps Aerial click add and this is uh, what it looks like so I am going to zoom in to my area of interest so I'll be clicking away a couple times okay I zoom in a couple times into this interesting area so next thing I do I'm gonna come to my new shape file I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna open the uh, uh, tribute table and as you can see I got no fields I'm gonna proceed to create three fields or four and you just gotta come up here to the upper left corner table options click on that and come down to add field and let's call one owner uh, caution it the uh, add map or this type of fields only allows for eight characters so if you go extra long it's gonna chop it to eight characters I'm gonna call the name owners and the type is gonna be text with a length of 50 I'm gonna create really quick another one add field and I'm gonna call it address sorry I uh, will call it text 50 last one I want to create another field that will contain the footage or square footage of the footprint so area and I'm I know text works so I'm gonna keep using that 50 and go OK so I'm, I'm good to go next thing you do you are going to appear into editor and you start a session and immediately it found it is the only thing there so it put it over here you all for you to start uh, sketching or digitizing just go f click on it footprints click on the construction tools below polygon and automatically you're ready to start digitizing so I am going to digitize just the building I'm not gonna digitize the shade the, the shade structure or portico so I'm gonna start with one right here uh, there's one I'm gonna start with another one I'm gonna just digitize probably all this really quick well already digitized uh, three of them not not th they look they don't look pretty but just for this as uh, just for the sake of this tutorial I'm going I'm gonna I'm going really really quick so if this box gets in the way just move it to the side and just keep on clicking away it's a nice tool so but I don't need it right now double click 
uh, to close or finish your sketch and this thing is ready to go all we need to do now we need to populate the uh, the table so you come over here while still on your editing session right click open attribute table and this is how you do it I already got this little one selected and highlighted on my table so I'm gonna call it uh, bank uh, Owens something like that and I'm gonna give it an address a fictitious address so I'm gonna call it 2360 this is on the west side 68 uh, South Avenue X and I'm not gonna worry about the area I'm gonna leave it alone I'm gonna let ArcMap calculate the area the footage for that building or footprint alright so let me just populate the rest of them and I'll be back in a second alright guys I have done you know uh, populated the table so all I gotta do now is probably save my my editing by going into the up here into the editor stop editing yes I want to save them and I'm good to go now it's just probably uh, I'm gonna calculate the geometry so I know what is the footage for every uh, footprint over here and so you can see a little bit better let me just um, decrease or augmentate transparency there you go yeah, I think you can see a little bit better um, in that case I want to right click open my attribute table and come down here to the last field which is area right click calculate geometry the property is area I want to calculate geometry based on area the system there you go this is the coordinate system and I want square feet US that's correct you can change it Oh, but before you do this, always as a, you know, a clean measure, go into view, data framing properties, and make sure in the general tab that your units are set to feet. All right, all right. So let's do this again. Right click, calculate geometry, area, square footage. Yeah, and there you go, guys. Um, ArcMap does a calculation for you. So th this is the footage or square footage for every uh, footprint or building on this. Uh, uh, area of interest for this tutorial. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy it and well, I hope I can bring more tutorials pretty soon. Take care.